I just wanted to do a quick recording of the items that I didn't mention in the video coming up. And um, I either forgot to mention these or they were actually being shipped out. So I couldn't show these at the time of the filming of the other video. But let me quickly go through these items here. So that is the perineum oil that I have been using um, every other day at this point. Uh, but I will probably leave this on a counter, maybe in front of my bag so that I can remember to pack it for the hospital, just in case we are in a extended labor um, process. This here is the laxative, dual lax. Um, it actually works in 30 minutes, so I wanted something a little bit quickly um, as a stool softener. This is the fan. This fan will be used um, and be attached to my hospital bed as I begin the process. I also included, of course, the charger that comes with it. Here is my speaker here that I will use for some light music to play. I haven't really seen this before, but it's really been working for me, especially every morning when my joints seem to be a little tight. These are stress balls, um, affirmation stress balls that have little notes on them. So they've been really helpful for me, especially as I begin my Braxton um, contractions and the tightness and everything. Lactation massage pads, these vibrate and they warm to help the flow of my milk. Um, so I'm hoping I get to use these and I hope my milk comes in, um, but I'm not taking the whole box. They provided a little pouch here. So it has a charger and everything. So hopefully I get to use that. I'm looking forward to seeing uh, how that works out. These, so I know my hospital provides these, but the ones that the hospital provides are very thin and the pad is completely separate. So I wanted just a few of these um, while I'm there because of course they're thicker and I just feel like, because they're like overnight duty, I feel like they might hold a little bit more than the, how many, uh, hold a little bit more liquid than the hospital's um, options will. So I'm gonna bring a few of these, maybe like three or four of these. Um, or just half the bag. I might just bring the whole half of the bag. All right, moving on. My raspberry leaf tea. I like to put ginger in my raspberry leaf tea because it throws off that bitterness. Um, I don't know which brand you guys have, but it can be very bitter. So the ginger just balances it out for me. This is the book I've been reading throughout my pregnancy journey. Um, as you can see, I have, to have water and like tear stains and everything on the, <laughs> on the book. But um, I also, if I don't have enough space, I will look at my audio, audio book um, and just for affirmation and positive notes throughout the journey as I'm in labor. Not really sure if we're going to use these little like pacifiers, but we will see. Um, I don't think it's recommended to use those within the first couple weeks, but we'll see. We'll see how baby <laughs> reacts to it or um, if the hospital will even let us use them. But I just wanted to take them just in case. Nipple crack. I have been using this nipple crack um, TMI <laughs> heads up just because the um, my nipples and my areola has been changing. So it's actually been working out for me after I get out the shower. This here. Yeah, so that there, that is the nipple covers. I have heard that people use the nipple covers when they get into the shower because your nipples are really sensitive when you're starting to breastfeed. And so when you face the water, it's very, it can be very painful. So I bought some of these, they're waterproof so that I can wear them in the shower. And the chapstick, of course, for obvious reasons. Um, I always typically carry chapstick, but I wanted to get some that my husband can use as well. He likes this brand and this kind. So we will be using that. And then lastly, my two, I think it's two in here. Yeah, two 15 foot charging cords because it is very important to have that as the outlets may be a little bit further from my bed. So I made sure I got those. And I think that is pretty much everything that you will not see in the upcoming video, just because again, at that time, I just didn't have them on hand or they were being shipped. So. I hope this clears up just about everything. If not, please leave a um, caption or 
a comment in the description, in the comments below, and let me know if I missed something, but continue to watch the video that is upcoming in the next couple seconds. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today has been a crazy, crazy day. Um, and I completed my last maternity shoot today at 35 weeks. Yeah, at midnight, I'll be technically 35 weeks. And so I decided to go ahead and pack my hospital bag. So these are all the things that I'll be bringing. The only thing I don't have pictured here right now is the stool softener um, because I haven't gotten that yet. And currently my maternity bras are washing. So I will be bringing those. So I'll picture them here, but excuse me, but they won't be physically here for you guys to see. So let's get started. Okay. So first I have my maternity bag here for like a duffel and then i have my like purse bag to match it in the purse i'll be putting this folder with my like all of my documents so every medicine every type of medicine that i've taken all of my updates from my chiropractor um everything from every appointment that they've printed out and give me so everything that shows on my vitamins um, anything that I have fears about, my birth preferences rather than my birth plan, um, just all those different details. And so I want this folder on hand for Urel for him to also share with the medical team. And my doula, she, will, she already has a copy. So that's that. I'll also be putting whatever doesn't fit in here. Um, anything that I want to quickly grab, like maybe snacks or, you know, water, that's probably going to be like the main essentials bag. And this will be more so the extended bag where I won't have to reach in that as much. So let's get started here. I have not opened this bag. So I don't know if it's stuffed or anything. Okay, no, it looks like it's just lined. And then it has my little um, strap. Okay, perfect. So let's get started. I'm going to start with the things that I feel like I might need the least. And so I have it all laid out here, guys, on my coffee table, but you can't see it. I'm going to put in first my maternity gown. So my sister told me not to bring my sister. If you know, she just had a baby a couple months ago. So I study everything from what she packed and learned what not to pack. So um, she told me not to pack many clothes because, of course, I will be nude most of the time. Um, and she told me to just bring a going home outfit. But I bought this maternity gown just in case the one at the hospital doesn't feel comfortable. Um, I don't know about you ladies, but my nipples are feeling a little bit more sensitive. So I just want to make sure I have something a little softer because I know the maternity maternity gowns can be very, very rough. So I got this custom one here from Amazon. Um, and I got it, I got it in a, it says XL to double XL. So I guess it goes in different sizes. So I'm gonna pack that first because I might not need that. Next, I'm going to pack, hmm, probably my going home outfit. So my going home outfit, it's a shirt that says mama. And then, and then it's a dad shirt also in here that says, uh, I think dad, let me see. Yeah, mama and dad. So we'll have these two shirts. And then I have, I'm still trying to decide if I want to do like a black maternity legging or a black maternity like short with like legging. Um, I, but we don't know if baby girl is going to come late August or September. So I still haven't decided yet. So I'll probably add that later. But for now, we want to do my going away outfit. Next, I will do my maternity socks here. It comes in a three pack, not maternity socks, compression socks. So three packs goes up to my knees and then they have the little grips on the bottom. So I really love that. Super, super convenient. Next, oh, I forgot everything that's behind me on the chair. So I'll do that. My mom got me these super cozy um, slippers here. Let me take one out so you guys can see it. Got me these slippers. 
that I can wear in the hospital. So super, 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 super soft. Oh, they're attached, so you probably can't see it. But super, super soft, cozy. So I will be taking these for sure. Also, quick tip here. Leave out a pair of comfortable shoes near the door. That's what I'm doing. So my Crocs, they are over there. So yes, my Crocs, they're like a fluorescent purplish blue. I'm going to have these on standby near the door. Um, just in case like my water breaks and you know, I'm not thinking and I just want to slide on some shoes really quick. Keep those near the door. And I'm going to also keep a hospital outfit. This will, I'll probably wash this and use this. This will probably be my hospital outfit going to the hospital because as I've seen, it's probably not best to wear a lot of clothing when you're going to the hospital. It's probably best to wear something light, um, you know, just in case any liquids or anything, you just want to be able to, and that's another thing too, I need to sit a towel in the car <laughs> just in case anything gets wonky um, while we're driving because we are 35 to 45 minutes away, depending on traffic. So. I want to be comfortable, loose, I want to be able to breathe. So I'll probably wear this to the hospital with my Crocs. All right, let's move forward. This is actually a question mark for me. I don't know if I'm going to bring it, um, but I have an affirmation pregnancy coloring book. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Love, love, love this. Anytime I have doubts or reservations about anything, I start coloring. And I get so relaxed. It's just so many motivational affirmations in here. This is one I recently just did. I hope you guys can see that. Let me go closer. Yep. So it says, birth is safe for me and my baby. And it just motivates me, gets me relaxed, helps me focus a little bit. This is a, I don't know if I'll need it. So I'm debating. Like, I feel like in, in contractions, I will not be able to color. But at the same time, I don't know. Like, I might want to take it. So this is a question mark. I leave it out on my coffee table um, so I can color throughout these couple of weeks. But I don't know if I take it, I take it. If I don't, I don't. But I really might take it. If I don't take it, I will use my coloring app on my phone just to kind of distract myself, you know, from the contractions and breathe. Okay, so right here behind me, I sat this here on purpose. My humidifier and my oils, my essential oils. I don't know if this is gonna be like too big and bulky for the room. I have to confirm with my um, doctor this week, but I'm hoping I can take this. I'm still gonna take it and pack it. Um, and then I just won't use it if I can't use it, but it does take up a good amount of space, um, which is why I have that second bag there to kind of take up some space. Let's pack. This, this is actually separation bags. These are like organization bags. So I'll probably fill this all up with these, but I got these from Amazon. All the things, baby's going home outfit, baby's things. Um, I wish they had a bag like dad's things or you know, something dealing with dad. Nope, they don't. Mama's things baby's first outfit. So I'm gonna separate my, all of the outfits and put them in these organization bags and pack those. But for now, I'm just gonna show you guys everything that I have here. So we have nipple covers. Um, my nipples have spread, um, <laughs> that might be TMI, but they spread significantly. And I know breastfeeding will begin shortly after birth or before um, my nipples have started to change and it seems like they're starting to open up a little bit. So I know I need to have these just for leakage purposes. So I will pack those. Some, I have some short maternity socks just in case the compression ones are like too much for me. I got a feeling they I might be too hot in those. So I got these, these cute little socks and on the, the foot, the bottom part of the sock, it says, Baby, you're worth it. And it's in pink, so cute. I thought I would have those either to wear home or just in case the compression socks are like too much. Um, this is gonna go in my essentials bag, my water jug here, and it's connected to a straw at the bottom so I don't have to like pour and do the most. I just sip, it'll be nice and quick and easy. I'm gonna pack that in my essentials bag. 
I also, of course, pack my wallet, my keys, like my insurance cards and everything into my essentials, my smaller um, essentials bag here. Okay, next I'm gonna pack blanket. This is a uh, blanket from the app that me and my husband are using for our classes, Maven. So they gave us a nice, thick, comfortable blanket. I will be packing that. Also, I'm not gonna pack this. I'll probably get a big Ziploc bag or something <laughs> and pack this, um, my pillow into that just so like, you know, I'm comfortable throughout the journey. Um, the hospital pillows are not comfortable for me. So I'll be sure to pack that, um, probably sealed in a sealed plastic bag, just, you know, just in case we're carrying too much. Um, yeah, so we'll do that. And then I have my undergarments. These are maternity undergarments. Not sure when I'm gonna wear these. I'm thinking maybe when I leave the hospital, I'll be wearing these. I'm pretty sure whether I get a C-section or you have a vaginal delivery, whichever happens, I'm not gonna be able to wear these. I'm probably gonna be wearing the diapers, um, which I don't have here, my diapers. <laughs> I love my diapers upstairs, but I will picture them here. <laughs> um, but yeah, they are just maternity disposable diapers that I will have, but they also provide those. So I probably won't take many of those. I'll probably take one or two of those. Um, and But these, I think I will wear these home, one of these home. Um, it's three in here currently, so I probably won't need three, but I'm gonna take them. I might take one out before, before I, you know, seal everything up. Next, I'm gonna put, this is, oh yes, this is important for me. These are my yoga stretch bands for my hair. What I plan to have my hair braided up and kind of pushed away, but just in case that things don't go that way and I don't make it to my great appointment, I have these four, it comes in a four pack. And um, these go around my hair, push my hair out of my face so I won't be bothered by that. Scrunchies, I typically am wearing scrunchies on my arm every day. Of course, my hair up is up right now, so I don't really have to worry about scrunchies right now, but I typically have about two or three scrunchies on my arm, but I'll probably be sure to pack scrunchies as well along with this. This will go in my essentials bag because I'm pretty sure on the way to the hospital, I'm gonna want to put one of those on. So, and I have a couple of them everywhere. These are additional maternity socks. They are low cut with the grips on the bottom. Um, just because in the hospital, I just feel like I need to have grips on my socks. Um, you know, sliding and falling or, you know, whatever. And also our first floor here in the house is wooded. So I just, I need, I want to have grips on my socks for a while. Um, I'm not clumsy, but like, I just like having grips on my feet. Um, it just makes me feel better for some reason. So won't need four of these. I'll probably take, because it's a four pack. I'll probably take two of these. Um, I'm gonna set these on top because I'm gonna take some of those out. Next, let's do my, what is this? Oh yes, my Wish Garden Herb Oil. This oil is for postpartum contracting. Um, it's supposed to seep into your skin and relax those muscles. I did not open it because it's very, very strong, um, but I'll post a picture here of how the bottle looks, but the scent is very, 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 very strong. So um, I did not want to, <laughs> I did not want to open it up because it's so strong and I don't want it to leak onto anything. So I'm gonna be wearing this after baby is out um, for, you know, in the uh, resting area, in the, uh, I forgot what it's called. <laughs> in the area where I'm, I'll be relaxing with me, baby, and um, dad. So I'll put that on there. I'm gonna put that in this bag because it's not really essential just yet. Um, next, oh yes, let me get my oil, it's right here. Okay, next I have my natural shea butter. This is what I use on my belly. I have jars of this everywhere in the house. <laughs> But I use this for my belly, for my hips, for my thighs, 
for my lower back. I use this really for my whole body, but I wear it two or three times a day. I cream up my belly just to prevent, you know, stretch marks and the discoloration and things like that. So it's helped me thus far. I don't have any stretch marks on my belly. Um, I already had stretch marks on my hips. So they're, they're pretty much still there, but my belly is clear for now. So I'm hoping this will continue to help me when I am in labor. So this will be probably in my essentials bag. Oh, another thing that is not packed here, of course, because I'm using these things is my toiletry bag. So my toiletry bag, of course, has all my toiletries, my toothpaste, my shower gel. Um, I'm probably not going to do like my Vagisil stuff just because I don't know how that's going to work after having a baby. Um, I'll probably check with my doctor about that. But all of my vaginal stuff, I'll probably pause on that and just see what they provide for me just, just to be safe. Um, don't want to cause any issues down there. So shower gel, toothpaste, toothbrush, the essentials. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, they provide everything else in the bathroom, the uh, towels and everything. So I don't have to worry about that. But yeah, my toiletry bag, of course, it's not here because I'm using my toiletries. So you'll have to work with your imagination there. Put a picture here <laughs> for the toiletry bag as well. And next, let's see. Lastly, um, which I'm surprised I waited like last to do this. Baby girls, baby girls items here. Um, I'm going to try to show this without showing her name, but yes. So we have her little name tag. It's like a, it's a circle that shows her name and oops, drop something. It's a circle that shows her name, her first and middle name. And then she has her comfy, cozy. I have two options here. Two options. Well, let me put this down. So I'm going to pack this in the big bag. Let's that to the side. Then she has two outfits here, as well as a matching bow. So let me show you guys, because these don't have her name on it. So she has this outfit. So cute with the little ruffles on the booty. <laughs> so cute. There, it's like this comfortable waffle material. Um, so comfortable and like for I think it'll be comfortable for her. I hope so. Um, and then I have this onesie here. This can be adjusted. Of course, the little bottom part can be adjusted. Also, that waffle material in that rose pink color. And then I have, let me put this back in the bag. And then I have the bow that matches it. So cute. And then her blanket, her blanket will be on the, the actual bassinet that they're providing at the hospital. So her blanket has her name on it and it has some florals on it. And then she'll be laying with the pink to contrast on the white with the detailing it's so cute i just love it i just love it it's so cute last thing um i have two of these bottles actually so i can pack this one and then the other one i can use prenatal vitamins i'm going to continue to take my prenatal vitamins that's what i've been instructed to do so i'm going to pack this in my essentials bag and i'm looking around <laughs> I don't think I have anything else. Oh, I probably will also include some like earring studs. Like I'm not big on makeup and, and like doing the most for the delivery. I'm fine with looking as natural as possible. Um, just as long as like my hair is out of my face. And I think I want to do like some type of stud just because if I am going to be filmed, because my husband's going to film me, um, and take pictures and things. I, I at least want to have a stud. Like I at least want to look a little put together. <laughs> um, so I'll probably, if I'm not wearing studs or something on the way to the hospital, I'll probably bring like a stud and a small hoop, something similar to this. Um, and that's about it. I don't think I left anything out, but if I did, please let me know. Um, again, you didn't see me pack my coloring book because I still like to use it daily and my toiletry bag and then what else didn't you guys see? you guys didn't see my speaker 
because I don't know which size to get bring yet. Um, and then yeah, everything else. I think I'm pretty much set and ready to go. Like, and I did this whole video standing up. Like I'm feeling pretty good today. Um, <laughs> but yes, I think that's pretty much it. That's everything. So let me know if there's something I'm missing, which is good. I'm gonna post this as soon as possible so that if there's anything I am missing, I can just kind of throw it in there. Um, some things that most people bring, I'm not bringing just because I know my hospital provides that. So like the birthing ball, the peanut ball, anything dealing with post postnatal care. So like diapers and pads and the little um, squirt bottle thing. Like I'm, I'm not bringing that because I've seen it and they provide those things. Um, but I will be bringing a specific perineal bottle um, it, it sprays a different way. So I might bring that one because I have that one upstairs that was gifted to me. And I'll put that picture here. <laughs> but yeah, I think I'm going to bring that specific perineal. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. I will bring that bottle. And of course, you guys saw I will be bringing my pillow, but I want to pack it in a very oversized bag so that it doesn't get dirty while we're transferring to the hospital. As far as what hubby is packing, he is packing all technology essentials. <laughs> his camera, of course, some clothes, toiletries, um, of course, his computer, um, because he will also be, you know, trying to figure out different things as far as filming and recording certain things and what can he record and what can't he record, all those different things. Snacks, when I say snacks, I'm gonna think of like light snacks, so. He's going to do like trail mix and like soft snacks, not heavy. I want like light snacks because not really supposed to be eating too much. Um, so I'll just probably do light snacks, fruit, and oh, the biggest thing that I forgot to. Okay, guys, my cooler. This is sitting near the door. Bruno, are you okay? It's me, sit, calm down. Okay, so my cooler. <laughs> this cooler is for my placenta. I will be taking this with me and then the company will meet us upon checkout and they will be taking my placenta for encapsulation so that I can begin that process, hopefully a couple days after um, we get home and settle. So the hospital will provide, provide the, um, well, of course I'm pushing out the placenta, it'll, this will be iced. The hospital will provide ice. They will label it. It will be nice and cooled and chilled and ready for us to hand off to our placenta company. And I will do a separate video on that process when we get to that. So I will be taking this as well, but this is sitting next to the door along with my Crocs. And I'm gonna wash this outfit and I'll be wearing this outfit. <laughs> so it should all be good to go. But if it's anything I forgot, let me know. Um, and yeah, we'll do, I, I'll do my best to like update it as quick as I can, um, update my bag as quick as I can. So thank you guys for being for, Bruno, sit. So thank you guys again for watching, tune in to my next update, which will be at 36 weeks. So in another week, um, yeah. And I will see you guys soon. Next time, hopefully with your rail. <laughs> he is currently working on our nursery. <laughs> so I'll I will keep you guys updated. Let me know if I missed anything and I'll be happy to add that. I will talk to you guys soon. Have a good one. Bye. If you want to be on camera, come here, Bruno. Hey, be good. Look up. Look up. Hey, <laughs> you want to be on camera? So tell me Give my stuff. Come here. Say hi to the people. Look. Look. 
Say hi to the people. Did you want to bark? You wanted to bark so much. Yeah. I don't want you to go. <laughs> okay. Bye, guys.